Okay, just to start us off, so you know, there's going to be two videos today. The first one is over something called translations. Okay, and a translation is simply when we take a figure that is on our XY coordinate plane and we just move it somewhere else in the same plane. All right? So in this particular example, it's asking us to translate this shape three spots to the right and four spots down. Okay? So basically what it's physically asking us to do is take this figure, move it three to the right, one, two, three, and four down. One, two, three, four. Okay, so it's going to end up right there from where it started. All right? Well, that's easy enough to do if you have a smart board and if you have an actual picture. But how do we do this mathematically? Okay, we've got to do it with actual numbers. Well, in order to do that, first what we've got to do is go ahead and pick out what points up here make up this triangle. Okay, let's name the points. So here's our first point right here, and that is at negative 2, 1. Okay, so there's negative 2, comma, 1 right there. Here's another point. That is at 0, 3. Okay, so 0, comma, 3. And our third point right up here is at negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is at negative 3, comma, 4. Okay, those are the three points that make up our figure. And those points are going to get moved. Again, three spots to the right and four spots down. Well, let's focus for a second just on this three spots to the right. Okay. First, we're going to move it just three spots to the right. Well, moving it to the right, that is only focusing on the x coordinate, right? x is side to side. We're not moving it up and down yet. We're just moving it three spots to the right. Okay. Well, in order to do that, we don't need to bother with the y coordinate at all right now. Okay. Again, we're not moving it up and down. We're only moving it side to side, and that deals completely with the x coordinate. So since we're moving it three spots to the right, the right is this way, that means the x-coordinate is going to get bigger. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to add 3 to all of the x-coordinates up here. Okay? So this x-coordinate is 0, we're going to have to add 3 to that x-coordinate. This one's negative 2, we're going to have to add 3. And this one's negative 3, we're going to have to add 3. Doing that is going to move our shape three spots to the right. Okay, but that's not all we're doing. We're also moving it four spots down. Okay? In order to move it down, now we're dealing with the y-coordinate. Okay? Y-coordinate is, remember, what controls how far up and down this shape is. So if we're moving it down four, that means we've got to subtract four from all three of the y-coordinates up here. Okay? If we were moving it up four, we would add four. But we're not moving it up, we're moving it down. Okay? So here, I'm going to end up subtracting four. I'm going to subtract four here. And I'm going to subtract four here. Okay? So doing those two steps are, is going to move these two points to where they need to go. Let's take a look at how it's going to end up. Let's look at this top point here. It started off as negative three, comma, four. We've got to add 3 to the x. So negative 3 plus 3 is 0. If you look at the next spot, the y started off as 4, and we are subtracting 4 from it. So 4 minus 4 is 0. So by the time we get done moving that point, we should end up at the, uh, at the point 0, comma, 0. Let me write it up here. There we go. Okay? That's going to move from negative 3, comma, 4 to 0, comma, 0. All right? This second point here, it started at 0, comma, 3. We've got to add 3 to the x. So that's 0 plus 3. And that's going to end up at 3. And the y coordinate started at 3, and we're subtracting 4 from, from it. So 3 minus 4 is negative 1. Finally, this point right here started at negative 2, comma, 1. And once again, we're adding 3 and subtracting 4. So negative 2 plus 3 gives us an x-coordinate of 1. And 1 minus 4 gives us a y-coordinate of negative 3. So basically what this tells us is after we move the shape, 
the three points up here should end up at 0, 0, 3, comma, negative 1, and 1, comma, negative 3. Let's move it again and see if we were right. Okay, again, we're moving it three spots to the right. 1, 2, 3, and four spots down. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, let's see. We should have a point at 0, comma, 0. There it is. There's our point. We should have a point at 3, comma, negative 1. 1, 2, 3, negative 1. There's our point. Looks good. And we should have a point at 1, comma, negative 3. 1, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. There it is. Okay? So without even physically moving the picture at all, we were able to find all three of the new coordinates of the picture. And that is how you translate a shape.